sorry, there's one more thing I have to do. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I need to show you something. The first thing, as I said before, you won't see anybody else talking about this currently. You won't see anybody else talking about this March 9, 1933 Act, the New Deal. You won't see anybody explaining what's really going on. If you all pay attention to what's really going on, what money really is and what it isn't, then you'll be able to enforce your promissory notes. Go back, watch the previous video that I just did that talks about legal tender. It's not a long video, but it talks about legal tender. And it gives you the explanation and the points of the Federal Reserve Act. Um, give me one second, because it's necessary that I open up this program so that I can upload the video to the SACCOM website, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll be connected in a second. We're going to go here. I got to go to PDFs and I'm going to put it in the number one folder. Y'all know the folder, the very first one that's numbered one. Okay, a legal understanding. And when we go to a legal understanding, we're going to promissory notes. So in promissory notes, I got to go here. These are the videos, but we have to go. No, we have to go home. Mama, can you take me home? Take me home, please, Mama. I don't want to be here no more. I swear, mama. So we got to go to home. And home is going to take a second. So we'll come back to you, homie. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up this document right here. The one that I have. And now this is the title of it. It's called Congressional Act, March 9, 1933, pages 78 through 83. Okay. Now I just have to hit the save button. Now that I hit the save button, it'll be the last document that I have taken care of sorry they made a noise and I turned around to see what was going on they're still asleep I'm surprised see with the music they're not talking in their sleep because they do that a lot I mean tremendously a lot but however before I'd be talking and doing videos and things and they'd be talking behind me they'd be looking to come into the living room and then so now that they're starting to walk they would come down the stairs and the stairs are carpeted but you should see them tumbling down the stairs and i got tired of having to go pick them up and saying get your back up there you ain't supposed to be down here got tired of saying that so i put them back now penny is sitting up there still looking at me because she thinks she's being punished and she is well, she's being punished because she keeps digging underneath the gate, and I told her no. And so this is my way of saying you're going to listen or you're going to listen. Ladies and gentlemen, I've had an individual, this is the reason why I'm doing this video, I've had an individual comment, wait a minute, with the information you're giving out, I can't see why you're only having this many views because that's YouTube. Let me show you something. Remember, this is the Redress Right channel. You can see Redress Right. So watch this, R-E-D-R-E. -R -E S S R I G H T. Okay, let me put that in there. Oh, look at that. Now it's number one, the top one. Before you could not type in redress right. So, ladies and gentlemen, redress right, all one word, and you'll be able to pull up the videos. Before you couldn't do that, before it would not let you. Now, that Eon person. He was, um, over the last couple of years, they keep taking away his subscribers. So if you see subscribers decreasing, most of the time it's because they are taking them away. This is the second Eon channel. There is a third and fourth one. They took down the first one, okay, which had over 300,000 subscribers. I'm not in this for the subscribers, but if you take a look, this is only three weeks ago, 1,000 people a week. This is four weeks ago, 1,000 people a week. So that's the average. If, oh, seven years ago, flashover, that ain't me. That, that ain't me and that ain't me, okay? I just want to make sure y'all understand. All mine going to have that icon right there. Whew, man. Um, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I would compare this video right here because I look at the title and 
I would definitely compare this video with the information that's in the video that was just done. Now, that being said, Google was blocking people for having access to finding the site. Okay? But now you can find it. Just keep redress and write together. Redress, write together. And you'll be able to pull up the site. All right, now look. I just wanted to show you that uh, Google... No, I got one more thing I have to show you. Let's minimize this. This is uh, the 1099s. This is proof that they went out. But this company, this was that cell phone company I was telling you guys about. This was one of the companies. I don't care that they're not able to uh, get this, that it's being returned to sender. Okay? I don't care that they're writing return to sender. Why? Because this is for a debt. I just have to show proof that I attempted to notify the party. Look, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a video explaining to you about AmeriLegion. Just not ready to do it yet. AmeriLegion is still uh, trying to expedite and make expedient their process. And they have worked out some things and we just worked out something else that's going to make it, oh God, 10 times faster. Okay? So we'll be talking about it tomorrow, but when we do the video, we're going to explain how AmeriLegion is doing exactly what the IRS says needs to be done, what reference to debt, and I'll be explaining that from beginning to end. Stay tuned! Okay, now what I need to show you is, where are you? This right here. Don't worry about all this stuff right here. Take a look at this. 2,674 emails that have not been opened. 2,674 emails that have not been opened. This is the Eon at Eon.tv. Okay, I really am averaging 100 emails a day. However, many of the emails have been held up by Google and uh, let's just say they're really messing with the emails. Okay, this is a virtual mailbox, so they scan every envelope that I receive. This is the Las Vegas address. But because I have to pay for every envelope coming in here, that's why you're not allowed to send anything to that address. I will return it. Or I will trash it. That's why the website clearly says if you want to service a process, there is another address for that. This is only for me to see who's sending stuff. So I can determine whether or not I want to read it. No junk mail is sent here. So don't send me no junk mail. And if you send it here, they weigh it and everything. See that time and date? This is so that nobody can say that they sent me something. Okay? This is so no one can say they sent me something. Uh, because these guys are under contract to scan every document that comes in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to take up y'all time. I just wanted to show y'all the amount of emails that I've been getting. And yesterday I found out that there was over 171 emails that Google had never forwarded it through Gmail. 171, including the BC support emails. Okay. Uh, then I responded to those BC support emails and Google bounced them all back, every single one of them. So now I got to re-respond to those emails. So I got a lot to do. I want to thank all of y'all for your patience and for your standing by me. <laughs> Stand by your man. <laughs> anyway, I uh, do appreciate it. Have a very good day. And, and look, let me say it again. Some people think the antics are just me trying to be different. Look here, you ignorant mother who don't know what you're talking about. What you're seeing is me since I was a kid. I can tell you this, and then I'm going to let y'all really go. I'm the kid who, when we were taking a bus to camp, and it was a three-and-a-half-hour drive, I'm the guy singing out loud the whole way because it was boring and nobody was saying anything. I'm that guy. I'm the guy telling jokes on the bus the whole way. Yes, I'm that guy. I was that kid. 
I was that kid that said, no, we're not going to just, no, this is going to be memorable. And if you ain't got to remember nobody else, you're going to remember me. Okay? Because you're going to love me. I'm sorry. So, that was me. So, do not think that I am anything other than me. I told people I have not changed. I am the same person I've always been. Yes, I've been proved. At least I believe I have. And you know, I will tell you something else that is unique and 100% perfect. I serve the true God, Jehovah. I cannot begin to tell you how proud I am of that fact. Not because you understand it or Tom understands it. I am proud of that fact because he understands it. And he has continued to show his approval of me as a person. And I am proud of that. And I'm glad that I get to be able to say it out loud and not. There are some people who will be embarrassed to say something like that. There are some people who will be, oh, I'd rather not talk about that on YouTube. Why not? Look, ladies and gentlemen. His son, Christ Jesus, said you must be perfect because your heavenly father is perfect. But people, they've never understood that statement. How can a perfect, an imperfect, an imperfect person be perfect? Interesting. Well, I'm not here to tell you what he meant by that. No, no, no. The scriptures explain what he meant. He later explains what he meant. See, you can only use the scriptures to interpret scripture. What'd you say? You can only use the scriptures to interpret scripture. You don't have the right to interpret God's word. Just like you don't have the right to interpret what I'm saying. I tell people I say what I meant and I meant what I said. Go back and listen. I, I do that all the time. Well, my God is the same way. The God that I serve, you know, the one who named himself. He's a God of his word. His word is his bond. The word that goes forth from his mouth, he says, will prove to be and it will not return to him unless it has accomplished that for which it has been sent forth. He said, it will have delight. Look at that. His word will have delight in that which he sent it out. Imagine that. So he hasn't given us permission to interpret his words. See, his word is his. It belongs to him. It doesn't belong to us. So those of you who think you can interpret scripture, shame on you for sitting up there taking control of God's word thinking that you had that right this word is not meant to be interpreted it's meant to be followed hold on what you say his word is not meant to be interpreted it's meant to be followed now ladies and gentlemen if you go to a church and they let you fornicate you know like <laughs> sinners and saints <laughs> saints and sinners oh lord have mercy if your church allow you to do what they did in that TV show, then you ain't serving God and your church ain't serving God. I'm just going to tell it to you like it is. They, they, they ain't no other way around it. God don't like evil. God don't like ugly. God don't like nasty. Everybody knows these things. So, ladies and gentlemen, if he doesn't like it, how? okay, here's the thing. The God I serve can't stand wickedness. So how can a wicked person claim they're serving God? He can't stand fornication. So how can people commit fornication and think that he's standing there with him? Or with them? There's a lot of things he can't stand. So why would you think that he would be standing with you while you're doing those things? So do yourself a favor. Become perfect. Stop doing those things. And stand with him. Become perfect. Stop doing those things and stand with him. And watch and see how he will then stand with you. Not about religion. Not about religion at all. It has nothing to do with religion. Religion is doctrine. You see, religion is, oh yeah, you must believe this and you must believe that and you gotta believe this and you gotta... This ain't about nobody's religion. Religion is man-made. Man teaches religion. I don't teach religion. You won't hear religion coming out of my mouth because I don't like religion. I don't believe in doctrine. I don't follow doctrine. I don't care how you mix, match it, and match it, and mix it. 
it's not the way it's done here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, told you I'm trying to keep these below 15. Bye-bye.